Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today. Today, guys, is episode number two of the Blackpool Football Manager save, career mode, whatever you want to call it, the um, the rebirth of Blackpool FC. Um, today, we're just going to be absolutely smashing the league, and also we've got a Carabao Cup game to start with against the mighty Derby in the championship. So, um, not too sure how this one's going to go, to be honest. Um, could go either way. We could be surprised and cause an upset, or we could get absolutely humiliated. Anyway, before we do get into the video, I want to say thanks for the support on the first episode. And also, um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new around here. Um, without further ado, we're just going to jump straight into the game. Uh, the fixtures here, we're playing against Derby, obviously you can see up here. Uh, plenty of games uh, in uh, the same day as us. Um, the team selection for this one, I'm probably going to have to rotate a bit. Um, we've got um, Kai Kai back, who has got a fitness thing on him, but apparently he's able to play um, roughly about 75 minutes. So I will start him for this game. Uh, again, there's a few players that maybe could do it with a rest, but again, we don't really have many. Um, can I put him in there? Okay, because his fitness is a bit better. Anyway, just trying to look at the player fitnesses. Um, I think we'll be all right. I wonder if I put him in there just to see. Yeah, just to give us a bit of a uh, rotation. As you can see, there's not many options down here. I'm going to put Delfonso there um, as a wing option to bring on. Anyone else that I could probably like bring on to rest someone else? Uh, I don't really have any many defenders on the bench, do I? So I'm going to take you off. I'm actually going to put one of you. I'm going to put Edwards on the pitch. Um, husband again he's not really got the greatest of fitness i'm gonna put on mcdonald's and um, we're gonna go with that team i think we've rotated a little bit just to give us um some fitness um to rest some players because obviously with with the league one fixtures it's very very difficult to keep up with the squad especially when you've got a like a small size squad it's, it is quite tough to um uh keep up with the rotation due to how many games there are like we've got a game in the league on the Saturday after this and then we also have um, a game on the following Tuesday so um, it, is, it is quite tough I have found it quite tough or normally I do find it quite tough to um, actually keep up with the fitness anyway enough about that we're gonna jump in straight into the game against Derby let's see if we can um, hopefully cause an upset we're just gonna stay on balance for now we've got a highlight in the fourth minute uh, Turton on the wing whips it in Kai Kai oh my god how have you missed that He's volleyed it into or out into the. Oh my god, that was just terrible. Should be scoring there anyway. Malone now coming down the left hand side. Slowly does it. Obviously, I, I don't know what the speed um, most people would prefer, but right now, um, Hall has actually won the ball back. Jewsbury Hall um, spearing now on the ball. I've played spearing for this game. Akello has a lovely ball out to Kai Kai running inside. What's he going to do with it? He shoots and it's straight at the keeper. But like I said, I've changed. I've kept the speed as as this because I don't feel like it's that quick or that slow. I feel like this is probably just right for most people. I don't know. Um, you could let me know in the comment section if it's um, quick enough or not quick enough, um, and I can change it for the next one. But I think for now this is all right. We're actually playing some nice football against Derby uh, early on. Scannell in the back post and it's one nil to Blackpool. Sean Scannell with first goal of the season. Assisted by Callum McDonald, who we did actually replace with Kevin Friend. We're going to go on praise here. A nice bit of play in the middle. Markello, uh, the Everton low knee, plays a lovely ball out to McDonald. Plays it in. Scannell, the defender had no idea. Got a bit lucky that it came off the post. But again, we will take that, especially against a team like Derby in the Championship. And we've had quite a lot of chances in this game. Uh, I did shout praise, but I don't know if that actually went through. Uh, maybe the players just didn't care what I had to say. Anyway, Markello now on the ball. Plays it inside to Kai Kai. Trying to square it. It's blocked. Markello whips it in. Scan out the back post again. Unfortunately, Tom Lawrence gets it out as far as Turton. Um, that is not a good ball. Edwards is going to have a lot of space and time. Hopefully he doesn't just kick this up the pitch. I mean, he's played a nice ball to Spearing. I'll take that. Spearing to Hall. Back to Spearing. Plays it out to McDonald. Oh no, that's not a good pass, is it? Yosef Zoon running down the right hand side. Probably the better, biggest threat um, Derby have in this team. Tom Lawrence in the middle. Oh, it's gone over. Just um, just over there. We will, we will take that. Only 13 minutes in this game. And um, 
We'd have started bright though, a lot of chances being created here, um, which is great to see. Uh, approaching the 20, 25th minute mark, you know, we, again, we're, just, we're starting to kind of pick up the pace in terms of uh, possession and shots on target. Um, I'm going to throw a get creative in there. Half an hour mark approaching us now. We are still in the leads, which is good, of course. Now, we've got a chance here with a highlight. Turton spearing now. Plays it inside. Skinnell. What are you going to do with it? Markello. Ball inside. Hall. Kai Kai. The switch is on. If we can make it. McDonald is out wide. McDonald runs in. Shoots. It's the post. Skinnell with his second goal of the game and his second goal of the season. Would you look at that? Assisted by Callum McDonald. And a goal from Sean Skinnell once again. I know obviously it was a shot from uh, McDonald. But I will happily take that. We played some really nice football here. Um, Kai Kai playing it back to Hall, who plays it across McDonald, gets the shot off, unlucky to hit the post, but Scannell is quick enough to react to that and gets us the goal. We are now 2 0 up against Derby in the Carabao Cup. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better start in this game. We're absolutely dominating the shots and shots on target, especially um, the, the shots overall. And um, possession is, you know, it's flickering between us having the ball and then them having the ball for quite a few periods uh, in the game. I will happily take that as long as we're winning. Uh, we're approaching the halftime stage, which we do get to. Uh, we're going to go in the dressing room and I'm going to just say I'm very pleased with how things are going. Uh, I just want to see if there's anything I can say. I'm very happy with your performance so far. Uh, we're going to just jump straight into the second half. I'm going to praise them straight away just to um, get them fired up, which it actually has worked to be fair. Um, again, I might look to make some subs as we get um, later into the, the game because obviously we've got players that will have to play again on the Saturday, which um, is not really ideal sometimes um, when you've obviously got a lot of games coming up. Uh, people like Hall, I play a lot. Um, Kai Kai might have to come off. And to be fair, I'm pretty, he's going to be probably the first player I take off. Uh, I'm going to do that now. Unfortunately, we don't actually have any players that play on the wing, so I'm going to have to take Alfonso off. Uh, on sorry uh, and I'm also going to do I want now nah, I'm gonna save that one for now uh, I'm gonna praise them again might go uh, might drop to like a cautious or a defensive soon uh, I'm gonna bring off Hall at one point I'm gonna give it a few more minutes I'm gonna make that sub now uh, we're gonna bring on virtue for Hall and then I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring on Ma uh, Gary Maiden towards the end of the game uh, there's a highlight here though for Derby. Ball inside, Whitaker now on the ball. You know, I'll, I'll let them play it around the, the back. Malone slowly getting up the pitch here. Can we nip it off them? No. Oh, we can. Markello picks up the ball. Scan out. Oh, that's a great ball over the top. Here we go. Can we get the goal? Ah, oh, that's well over from. I think that's Armand. Armand, the um, striker. Is that his first name? Armand. Yeah, Armand, the striker. Decent effort there. We're going to make one more sub around the 80th minute mark. We're going to take him off and actually replace him with uh, Gary Maiden. Uh, we're going to do that now um, just for the last bit of the game. I'm not really going to... I'm going to praise them, but I'm not going to change anything just because normally when I do change something and go defensive and try and park the bus, the teams will all just literally go at the other end, probably score two goals, uh, and I don't really want that to happen. So, oh, Jay spearin has got an injury. I can't actually take him off because I've literally used all the subs. Um, so you have to see this one out. But anyway, last minutes of the game. I think this is going to be a win. I don't see them scoring three or two goals, uh, two or three goals. Um, and there you go, guys. Starting off the episode with an absolute amazing win against Derby. Obviously, they're up in the championship. We're just down in Little League One at home, two 0 Love to see that. Um, I'm going to be passionate and I'm going to say that was a very good win for us. Make sure I put everyone in this. And I'm going to say you impressed me because they did. Uh, we're going to continue now. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a press conference for this. Uh, if we do go over here. Um, let's see. Press conference. Yeah, here we go. So, uh, well, Blackboard are in the hat for the next round. How far can you go in the competition? Uh, I mean, let's be honest. We, we can try, but I'm going to say we'll just take it one game at a time. Because, um, y yeah, you never know with this. Um, you've got to be pleased with the result and performance. Impressive with that. Um, yeah, it was terrific. We were excellent. Yeah, it was very good. Um, Scannell, uh, he was great today, wasn't he? Um, I'm going to praise him for his performance. You were superb in front of goal last out, last time out. And that's going to be the end of the first game. Well, as you can see, 
if I go to the inbox, uh, we've got a game against Oxford, uh, which is going to be our next game of the season. Uh, in the league, they're sat in third, so we're going to skip up to that one now, and I'll be right back. Right then guys, before we get into our next game against Oxford, we actually do have the um, Carabao Cup second round draw, which we obviously just beat Derby in. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just go through um, clicking next team. Uh, oh, we literally come up straight away against Sunderland, so I can just draw all teams now. Um, so, we do have a home tie against Sunderland uh, in the next round of the Carabao Cup, um, which is uh, an alright result, I guess, for us. Um, they're obviously in the same league as us down in League 1. Um, but hopefully we can uh, try and cause an upset in there. Anyway, we're going to jump into the next game of the episode. Alright then guys, moving on into the next game of the episode against Oxford United. Now, the team is going to rotate a little bit. Um, so obviously, uh, some players uh, played in the uh, other games. Uh, the previous game, sorry. Um, so we've uh, rotated uh, accordingly. Now, obviously, I don't want to have too many um, like uh, defenders and strikers and stuff on the bench. Um, so we are going to look at, oh, Michaelo should be on the bench as a midfield option. Uh, so I'll, I'll do that, attack in middle left there. Two centre mids, a wing back. I need a centre back though, that's the only problem. Edwards can go there. Um, I think that's what I'm going to keep now for the team. Let's just check the midfield. Uh, everyone seems alright in terms of the fitness for this game. Uh, so I'm going to keep this team. I'm going to submit that. Oh, we have to have one player from uh, from uh, the club. I don't get. I really don't like this rule. It's so frustrating, especially when none of your first team players are in there. Um, so now what I have to do is again go to the under twenty threes and try and find someone. Who is that? Oh, this is the guy. I'm going to have to promote him to the first team. Unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, but like uh, I'm going to have to. He's going to have to be my backup. Like winger unfortunately well again not unfortunately but um you know what i mean anyway enough chit chat um we're gonna jump into the next game against oxford like i said they're sat third in the table right now so um they won their first two games from what i can see uh just the room dressing room right now um let's um should i be aggressive nah let's um i mean let's say that we'll hand over and we'll give it the old kickoff. Um, what I'm going to do though, um, between highlights, I'm going to go very fast. Um, as we do, oh my, I wasn't paying attention and I was trying to change the thing. Just because I feel like that I'm I'm playing the games, I feel like I'm in the games for a long time. So I'm trying to get them done as quickly as possible, just to speed up the games and the episodes. And that's 1-0, Armand getting the header at the back post. Paul whips in the free kick. There's a decent little header at the back post. We're going to watch the highlight anyway and uh, see what happened here at the back post. Yeah, it's a nice header. Defender probably could have done a bit better with that. Um, we're going to praise early on for that goal. Again, normally the um, when you like say something too early, they don't really react to it. Um, so maybe I should have just left that. Anyway, ball uh, whipped in again. Armand. Oh, that's unlucky. Ball's played back though. Can we whip the ball in? Armand again. Oh my god, what a goal. I didn't even realise that was going to go in. I thought that was going over the crossbar. He's got a second goal of the game within the space of literally 13 minutes. He's got two goals. And we're going to see that again. The first one was saved. Keeper spills it. Plays it back out to Fornley. Uh, Fawn Fornley? Yeah, Fornley. Uh, and the ball is played in. What a header that is into the back post. Does get a bit lucky to hit the post. Um, but we will take that. Another highlight early on in this game. Spearing. Got the ball. Going to play it back to Moore. More, it's gonna switch this to Fornley. Oh my god, I keep saying his name wrong. Uh, I do apologize. I keep thinking it's like Niley, uh, for Niley, but I don't know. Fawn, we'll just call him Fawn for now. Why not? Scanel is running on in through the middle. Ball played over. Lovely balls to Kai Kai. He's gonna square that to Hall. Hall, he's kind of just ran to nowhere. Husband whips it in. Oh my god, I thought our oh man just got a hat trick of headers then. That's a great chance for us to go 3 0 up. We've got the ball now. Back stick is more, and he scored. It's 3 0. Blackpool absolutely storming this game with 20 minutes. We're only 20 minutes in. And Taylor Moore gets his first goal of the season. Armand's getting the assist. You love to see that. Let's see that cross again. Lovely deep ball in. Moore leaves his runner, and the keeper can't keep the ball out. And we go 3 0 up. 
I think, well, I'm not going to say anything because you know what the FM gods are like. They'll probably send send someone down to make this game go 4-3 to uh, Oxford. Another highlight. We've had a lot of highlights in this game. Uh, we had very um, few in the first uh, game. Anyway, Henry now. Oh, that's a great um, tackle. Kai Kai. I don't know what he was doing there, but he's actually played a really nice ball to Ronan. Oh, he's lost the ball in the middle of the park. Woodburn. I think that's Ben Woodburn on loan from Liverpool. Kelly now on the ball. Whips it out. Adji, Ag I think that's how you pronounce it. Woodburn's in the middle. Henry. Ah, James Henry. Getting the goal there. 3-1 now. I'm just going to tell them. I'm going to give a demand more after this. And we're going to skip that. We're always going to skip the opposition's goals. We don't want to um, don't want to watch them. Approaching half time. We're not doing too bad. So we're dominating possession. Um, but to, in terms of the stats, in terms of like the shots, it, it's pretty even. And let's get, get creative before half time. I think that will do us for half time, which it is. Um, let's go into the dressing room. I'm very pleased with the. Uh, I'm going to say, don't get complacent. Ah, he's a bit. Com obviously, because he scored two and he got an assist. Maybe that's why. Um, but I just. There's a few players. Obviously, you don't want them to get. Um, oh, wow. We've got Kai Kai injured. I'm going to take him straight off um, for this guy. Um, Ardaqua. Ardaqua. I'll bring him on. Um. Yeah, that's a bit annoying. Kai Kai getting injured again. He's only just come back from injury. Maybe I played him too much and I probably should have rested him. Maybe that's my fault. Um, anyway, on the ball, we're going to play this one into the keeper, Maxwell. Now, just take his time here by the looks of things. There's a load of space in the middle of the hall. Picks it up, husband. Going to probably try and play this down the wing. It's taking a while. Hall. Lovely ball over the top to Armand's. Won the ball back again. Oh, he's lost it. Oh, it's given straight back to us. Husband. The switch is on if we can get this into the middle of the park. Husband. There we go. That's what I was looking for. And then switch again. More. Scan L. We've got the right back on the overlap. How? He's going to whip that one in, hopefully. Ball's played in. Ronan. Connor Ronan getting his first goal of the season. That was a really, really nice work goal. Nearly everyone touched that in then as well. We're going to praise the team. Once we come out of here, let's see that again. More to scan out. Load of space out on this right-hand side. On the overlap, How Lovely first touch. Whips it in. And Ronan is there with no one marking him. Uh, we're going to not make a sub just yet. We're going to praise. Oh, we can't because we just said something else. Um, approaching the 60th minute mark. I could bring someone like scan out off, which I think I'm going to do. Just because he's, um, he's played quite a lot at the moment. So, if I bring on, who, who could I bring on here? Hmm, I don't really have many options out Why do I? It's kind of annoying. Um, oh god, I don't know who to, to bring on here. That's kind of annoying. Uh, let's bring Markello on. I'm just going to put him there for now. Um, I know he doesn't play there, but um, we don't really have the positions. I might have to sort out the bench for the upcoming games. 4-1 uh, now, you know, we pretty much dominated this game. Oh, now another free kick from deep. Ronan's there. Is that a penalty? Yes, it is. And Armand will be taking it on um, on his hat-trick. Can he score the hat-trick? Yes, he can. What a finish that is. 75th minute. Um, lovely stuff from him. Uh, I do want to take off Hall, though, just because he is... Uh, he has played back-to-back -back games. I, I think he does need a little rest before the next game in midweek. So that's why I'm going to take him off. Lovely penalty there from Armand. And his third goal of the season, funny enough, coming all in this game. I'm going to praise the team. Um, and that is, that is pretty much it. Um, I'm going to just uh, go on uh, defensive for the last bit of the game. Again, a 5-1 up. We don't really need to um, be going forward much anymore. Uh, but Markello plays inside, spearing. How again on the overlap inside to Armand. Can he square it? He's still at the ball. Markello whips it in. Back post. No one's there. Henry out to Taylor. Again, 83rd minute. We're up to 7th now as things stand. Ball played back into Brown. Gonna see what happens here. That's a great effort. Unfortunately, well, fortunate enough for us, it's gone out for a goal kick. Um, 85th minute. We, we're pretty much home here, aren't we? One last chance, maybe, husband. Oh my god, our man's got his fourth goal of the game and it's 6-1. We've absolutely thumped Oxford in this game. I will happily take that. We know two wins in a row. One coming in the Carabao against Derby, which you love to see. 
uh, absolutely dominated, dominated that game. Let's go into the dressing room before we move on to the next game. Passionate, very pleased with that. Um, yeah, not, not much else you can say uh, about that. Anyway, we're going to continue on. Next game is against Gillingham, in, uh, who are sat, where are they sat now? Ninth, so they're there's, there's one place below us. Um, what a win that is, by the way, 6-1. How long is he out for? Only a day. I'll probably rest him for the next game. Jump into the press conference. Um, let's see what how, how pleased we are. Yeah, it, it was a great game. Such a positive result has gone down well with you. Will the players be getting a day off? Um... But only when it fits our schedule, yeah, because we've got a game coming up. Um, I would definitely love to add Hall's opponent basis. Anyway, we're going to jump into the next game of the episode after we praise uh, Armand's great game from him. Let's jump into the next game of the episode. Right then, guys, moving on into the next game. The team is ready. Um, I've got it. just need to submit it. Um, hopefully, we can um, carry on our great um, start um, to this episode. We've, we've had two games, two wins. Uh, we're going to move on into the press conference, not press conference, into the um, dressing room. I'm going to say go out there and impress me. And I'm going to say I have faith in all of you to get the result. I'm going to kick this thing off. Let's see how we get on. Hopefully we can uh, start off positively. A uh, yellow card straight away, not what you want to see. Um, again, Gillingham, they are a one position below us. Um, they've got a game in hand over us, so we kind of need to win this game. Um, Scannell now. Not really a good header there. Okay, I'll just I'll, we, we can let them just pass it around here. Clark gonna run on in. Oh, that's a great run. What a save from Maxwell that is. It's a great save. Just kept the ball out there. Just past the post. Pringle whips it in. Kai Kai gets rid of it. Hall just hoofs that away, and that's the end of that highlight. Not too bad. Um, not not a great start. I'm gonna demand more off the bat. Obviously, there was a few players who could have probably rested again, um, but they're probably going to get rested next game. Um, 25 minutes in now. Going to get a gr get creative on the go. Not really much happening in terms of us, but we've got a free kick now. Hall whips it in. Back post. To Moore is there again. Let's go. Taylor Moore getting his second goal of the season. And funnily enough, I'm pretty sure it was a uh, Dewsbury Hall um, free kick that actually was uh, Moore's first, assisted Moore's first goal in the last game. Uh, identical header from the last game, I'm pretty sure. We're going to praise them for that after that great header. Good free kick. Obviously, the stats, are, I mean, we're keeping the uh, the ball. Um, but again, we're not really, uh, we weren't really doing much in that first half. But again, I will take that 1-0 um, at half time. We're going to encourage them. Uh, things are going well, but I think you're a bit capable, or you are capable than uh, what more that we're doing right now. I'm going to get creative straight away. We didn't actually get that in time. Um, Gillingham now. Ball played over the top. That's good defending there. Kai Kai on the ball. The switch is on, but he's played it inside to Armand. Husband now on the wing. We're going to do slide it in here. Oh no, Ronan's picked it up. Back up to Husband. Husband, can he whip it in? He can. Scan out the back post. Ball. How? Oh, that's not really a good effort, but um, some nice football though. We are playing some nice, um, nice possession based um, play, but we got the ball from a bad goal kick there. Howe is all the way out on the right hand side. Scannell inside. Oh wow, that's not a good pass at all. And they could be through. Oh, I thought they were going to play that through. And they have now actually. Akinde. Oh, what a tackle. Oh, John Akinde. No way, man. The defender makes a good tackle, but it falls straight back to him. I'm going to demand more after that goal. As you can see on the replay here, Pringle picks up the ball. Defenders can't keep up with him. Akinde, oh, he makes a good touch, but we can't uh, keep the ball out, unfortunately. It's 1-1, but we've got a chance straight away. A couple of minutes after the goal, Markello, bit of space. Lovely ball out to Husband. What can he do with it now? Cut it back, maybe? Yes, Armand, let's go. His fifth goal of the season. Armand's getting the goal. Husband with a nice assist there. Um, beautiful ball out from Markello uh, originally. Uh, to husband, husband has a lot of time out there. No one really close to him. Ball was whipped in, and that's a great header from Armand again. Let's uh, praise the boys after that. Um, I'm gonna probably look to make a sub um, coming up. Kai Kai probably the one I want to take off and bring Delfonso out into the wide position, which I'm gonna do. Obviously, I know he doesn't play out that wing, uh, so I'm gonna swap those two over, um, and we'll leave it like that for now. Uh, let's praise again. 
I do want to bring off Hall though, again, because he hasn't really, he's played quite a lot of football for us recently. So bringing him off would be probably the best thing to do. I'm going to bring a husband off, he's on a yellow card. Um, if I um, quickly go to team instructions, I want to make sure, stay on feet because I don't like them diving in. It seems like we're conceding, not conceding, we're giving away a lot of uh, yellow cards. Um, wait, no, that's the wrong play. I meant to go on McDonald there. Uh, to go in that wing back spot, uh, husband had a good game. He's on, he's on a yellow card, though. I, do, I just don't want to risk it. Uh, the last 10 minutes now. Hopefully, we can uh, hold out this lead 2 1 away from home. We've got a corner now. Ronan whips the ball in. Moore is there. Oh, it's just over. I thought that was going into the top corner there from Moore. Unlucky again. Nearly the end of the game. We'll praise again. Might have to just go on cautious now for the last bit. Um, four out of minutes left. McDonald now, a lot of space. That's a poor cross. And look at the space for the striker there. Roberts is just running on through. Akinde, I'm pretty sure that is. Shot. And I don't know what the keeper, um, what that guy's doing there. Uh, we're going to turn this off now. Um, just because, you know, we're right next to the end of the game. Don't really need to be playing out from defense or overlapping. Slow the tempo down. And uh, we'll just waste time when we can. That should be the end of the game, 2-1, nearly the end of the game, yes, let's go, another win for the mighty Blackpool against Gilliam, 2-1 win, uh, that was a good win for us, uh, and then we just move on into seeing the table, and we're up to 6th now, um, we're in a playoff place, which is what you want to see, uh, let's just go see what they've said, yeah, that's a good press conference, again, we'll jump into this, um, Armand's winning goal will be, yeah, um, very good. What are the chances of Taylor Moore becoming a permanent member of the squad? See, the thing is, all the good players are all the low knees, which I hate. Um, you hate to see. Um, I've always identified as a certain style um, in my game. Right, if we go over to the fixtures. Um, I'm probably going to play Rochdale for, to end off the episode because these um, games do tend to uh, last quite a long time. Um, but we're going to jump into that game right now. Right then, guys, moving on into the last game of the episode. Again, I, d I just don't really want to keep the games. Obviously, I want to try and keep more games flowing um, to make the series like move faster. Because obviously, it's going to take a while before we get up to the top um, like leagues. But I, again, like the first episode was like 45 minutes long. And normally, I, I don't really want to have the episodes that long. Because I don't think some people would like enjoy that. I think people would find it a bit more... I think people would find it not boring, but like... People aren't going to sit there for like 40 to 50 minutes or whatever. Um, so I feel like maybe tw 20, 20 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes are uh, more ideal. So for now, I'm going to stop here after this game um, and see. And then once I edit it all together, I'll understand. I'll see what how long the video is. Um, and then it gives me an idea for the, pr new, um, the, uh, the new episode coming out. How long, I, how many games and how long I have to play. Um, anyway. I think because we changed the settings of how fast in between the games are, the games are going to be quicker. So next episode, we're probably going to be able to get more games in. Um, but, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we're probably going to just uh, keep it as it is for now. Uh, we're going to get creative now. We are playing Rochdale today uh, in this game. Obviously, I didn't mention that in the uh, previous bit. Um, Rochdale got a free kick now. You know where this is going to go. Top corner. Norrington Davies whips it in. Good save from Maxwell. Pushing out for a corner, though. Which, uh, to be fair, we don't mind, we don't mind. Davies again on the corner. He's going to whip this one in now. Can we get rid of it? Oh, that's a poor corner. Oh, and Kai Kai's on the counter-attack. Ah, oh, it didn't lead to anything, unfortunately. Markello's on a yellow card. I don't really like that. Um, we're going to demand more. Another corner for um, Brochdale here. Whipped in. Ball gets the ball away on as far as Camps. Davies whips it in. Oh, no, he doesn't. He plays it back to Camps. Plays it back across. McShane. Ah, oh, it's gone wide. Pretty good for us, though. Anyway, moving on. 34th minute. We're not really um, doing much in this game, are we? Get creative, maybe. Oh, I'm just going to leave it for this half. Um, nearly half time already. Yeah. Wow. First half is not really um, what you want to see from us in terms of an attacking play. I'm going to be a bit more aggressive. Oh, I don't want to say. Uh, I don't want to say that. Um, I'm going to say we're not doing badly, but there's definitely more we can do. I'm going to go and demand more straight away. And hopefully kick them out the backside. But um, another corner here. Third time's a charm for them. No. Oh, no. Ball's gone to Rathbone. Back across to McShane. Oh, no, it's Camps. 
It's 1-0 to Rochdale. Not a great start in the second half for us at all. I'm going to demand more once we get the ball rolling. Oh, I'm going to skip that. I don't want to see that again. Um, yeah, not great. I'm going to have to go on attacking. Uh, positive here, I think. I might have to take some players off that aren't really playing well. Um, who should we bring on? Should we bring on... Let's bring on Delfonso and then swap these two over. I am tempted to bring Markello off because he's on a yellow card. I don't really like that. Uh, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go attacking if I want to win this game. I think. Um, 65th minute or so now. Probably gonna wait. Make another wait to make another sub. Uh, I'm gonna bring him off now because he's on a yellow card. Like I said, Jay Spearing is gonna come on to replace him. Uh, I think for now we'll be fine in the other positions uh, until maybe we get towards the end of the game. 75th minute now. Again, we've got a chance here. Ronan whips it in. Skennel's there. So is Armand. And he can't get the ball on target. Goes out for a goal kick. Nearly the end of the game here. I'm going to take off you. Who am I going to bring on? Right, I'm going to bring on you. And put Delfonso up top. Top them round. And I'm just going to go all out for the last five minutes or so. Oh, what the hell? I've clicked on the wrong thing. No. Very attacking. Demand more. I think this is going to be the end of the game, unfortunately. 1 0 to Rochdale. Can we get a chance? Six out of minutes as well. Can we get one chance? One chance? No. Oh, unfortunately, we can't. 1 0 to Rochdale. We, we didn't even have a chance that game. Um, yeah, that was um, not happy with the result. Everyone's positive uh, about the comments. But again, that's not really what you want to see. We're back down to 10th now, unfortunately. And obviously, we can probably go lower down depending on how the other results go. Press conference to end the episode. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the goal. It, to be fair, it was a decent strike. Um, has been playing very well on loan at Morecambe. Uh, do you wish to have him in your service at disposal? Um, um, I don't really know much about him, to be honest. So I'm going to say, I probably, yeah, I'd probably just say I prefer to talk about the players at the club. Um, you're keen on making Taylor Moore's loan a permanent one? Yeah, definitely, but I don't have the funds for that at all. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to end the episode off here. As Like I said, uh, this is going to just be a test to see how many games uh, or how, how long the episode is for this many games played. Uh, if we do go to Blackpool fixture list. So today obviously we played Rochdale, Gillingham, Oxford and Derby. Four games. So like I said, I'm just going to see how long the episodes last. And then I can get like a picture of uh, what I want to do for the next ones. Obviously we do have a lot of games. We're, we're not even at the end of August yet. Um, well, we're just about two games away. Um, so, like I said, I'm just going to try and um, figure out the best way to like be as efficient as we can in terms of the games. Because look how long we've got until the end of the season. Um, so, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. Uh, let me know down in the comments section below of anything um, which you'd like or dislike about the video. Um, that any feedback is really helpful for me to improve the videos. Uh, and make sure to subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace!